Well, hello everyone. Um, I'm delighted to be joined for this special live stream by Pavia Panu, also known as Palu, who is a mentoring advisor for the Be the Business Mentoring for Growth program. So, hi Palu, how are you doing? Hi Paul, thanks for having me on board. No, I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. So, um, well, we've you have spoken at some of our events before. You've spoken at Founders Friday, I and did, yes, been talking for a while. But for anyone that doesn't know what the program is, do you just want to give a, a bit of an overview? I would be happy to, yes. So um, Be the Business Mentoring for Growth um, it looks to help businesses find a mentor that can help with whatever business specification you have. The program is at no cost to you. I hate to use the word free because there is a requirement for you to participate and engage your mentor. And we do have a requirement for administration as well. Um, but there is no cost to the program. Now, we do have a key criteria to the co program that we, well, I'd say it's more of a suitability. So we'd be looking at companies that generally have some number of staff available to them. The idea of the program is to improve productivity in businesses across Britain, and at the same time, hopefully have a lot of job retention and job growth as part of our program as well. You know, um, I'm sure we'll have a, a, a bit more of a deep dive, but just as, as you know, a, a, an idea of, a company that would be perfectly suited for this program. I would say if you have a turnover of about half a million pounds annually and five full-time staff or above, the program would be ideally suited to you. But at the same time, if you're, if you're not there and you're growing or you have the capacity or some key changes in your business or a number of staff you're hoping to retain, please come and have a chat. Okay, cool. So it's a it's a national it's a UK wide program. It is. You're specifically focused on is it just the northeast or is it the north that you work on? Um, I well the program's England only okay. for the time being. So um, I just got to create that specifics in 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 there. Um, I cover literally all the way from Northumberland going down to Teesside. Okay. However, I'm happy to honestly engage any business outside of that bracket because I can easily connect you to one of our advisors across the UK to, to get the ball rolling. Uh, just to let you know, or one of the advantages of, of, of our program as a whole is our mentors come from all over the UK. Uh, we have a number of mentorship partnerships, um, which are blue chip organizations. Um, I'll run through a couple of them. Uh, but we, it's quite an expansive list. And I'm sure if you look on our website, you'll be able to see who they are. Yeah. Um, so we've got BAE Systems. Uh, we've got Accenture, KPMG. Um, I've got mentors from Siemens, Amazon's, John Lewis Partnership, just to give you a few. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. So the, just to go back, I mean, the key, the key bit is it's it's tried to increase productivity by matching SMEs with, with larger businesses. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Focus, I, I would we've opened up the program so we're, we we will look at businesses that are not within the SME category as well okay. you know um, I will say having staff would be a key criteria for our, our program and we really want to engage businesses that have staff to help them retain them but on the other side of things there's a lot of businesses that have pivoted really well during covid-19 so if you're growing and you're having growth challenges our program could be an excellent opportunity for you yeah so i was going to say about that so um how has it changed during covid uh, i would imagine it's quite yeah, significantly it's, so the focus, i was looking on your website before the focus is not only on growth but um yeah, how to kind of cope with with COVID as well. So. Very much so. I I'm gonna I'm gonna take the idea of growth. So within that capacity, if we're looking at a growth of a business, uh, there's a lot that it can influence growth. You know, and I would say things from a, from a business standpoint. If you're a leader looking to to run a project and you just haven't been able to get out of your workspace to look at it and analyze it and you know you want to tackle it and you need that certain push on a specific direction of where your organization is going, a mentor could be an excellent sounding board to talk to to get that push to occur, you know? 
as as you've alluded to quite quite a lot with regards to your your startup experience a lot of startups get caught into the whole idea of running your business as opposed to stepping back and strategically looking at it so having a mentor for me it's having this other person that you on one side you have the sounding board you have the experience set and everything that you can rely on and on the other side of things you you have the capacity of somebody that you have to report to on a regular basis and have some level of achievement towards your objective you know and that tiny push i think has been helpful for some of my mentees that i've had on board to be honest mm-hmm. yeah well definitely through the uh, through the events that we've done like the the Newcastle Starter Week event, the Newcastle Scale Up Summit event that we've done. Yeah. Um, well, each day has a different theme, but day four is always the growing and scaling day. And um, quite often we find people who they maybe only come to that day because they're, they're they're already in business and they're doing really, they're actually doing really well. They're, yeah. That's a business, but they're maybe just a little bit stuck and they don't know how to take to the next level, particularly owner manager businesses where they're so, like you say, so heavily involved in the day to day running of the business. Quite yeah. often they're the most highly skilled or, or like expert in that. So they get exactly the yeah in the work instead of taking a step back and thinking more strategically, which is where the um the mentor through your program and particularly the, the larger businesses can can come in with that with that different perspective and, and give yeah. them advice on on how to accelerate that growth. So um yeah, I think that's I think that's a really really key component of what you're what you're offering. Definitely. I mean I, I, I like the way that you use the word stuck because stuck is a very interesting thing with regards to a business. In in from my experiences with a lot of the mentees that I speak to, stuck is is potentially an experience or a level of information that you currently don't have, you know? No. And this is where our program gets really interesting because I've I've matched some very, very differing organizations and very differing skill sets together mm-hmm. where the mentor will bring something that you never expected into your organization. Mm-hmm. And you might look at what you already have in very, very different viewpoint. You know, uh, I'm not, I'm not saying it's guaranteed to happen, but the opportunity for that to happen is a very interesting one. So the idea of being stuck, but also having a new eye looking at your organization that could just change it to something that you want it to be, it could unstuck it, but it could just change it entirely and create a different vision for your organization, you know? Yeah. And I, I must admit, my my part is, is very shallow, really. I mean, I, I generally look at the skill sets of the mentor and look at the needs of the mentee and try and match them together. Mm-hmm. But it's been amazing the conversations that the mentors and mentees have had together and the way in which they have completely unleashed a whole new element of this relationship, of this depth, of this analysis of their business or where they want to go and, mm-hmm. and pivoted what they're doing in a very, very diverse ways, you know? Mm-hmm. So um, it's an interesting concept. It really is. Um, like I, I like putting two people in a room and just letting them go and seeing how much and where this discussion is going to lead. Yeah. So we, we've, with regards to the Northeast in specific, we've got a number of businesses on board. Re- the, the the relationships are still to mature, I would say, with regards to a lot of the rela- of, of the businesses that are matched in the Northeast. But I've got some very interesting case studies hopefully coming up in the near future. You know, uh, With regards to be the business program as a whole, we've got a number of case studies of, of organizations that have really been able to pivot and change what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Stories from family bakeries working with, you know, great, like sort of, you know, I, I would say lean manufacturing or project management background people and doing fantastically and changing their business and building in more structure. Mm-hmm. Family businesses that are like having challenges with regards to, I guess, communicating and changing and pivoting what their ideas are going to be of the future of the business should be. Um, having a mentee come, a mentor come on board and open up the discussions a lot further and, and have easier communication to be able to transition and help your business move. So there, there are really so many areas. Um, I recently had a, a mentee who was a female leader looking to really enforce her voice on on a boardroom level. Mm-hmm. Um, what a fantastically strong female mentor who's really helped grow that confidence. Mm-hmm. So th- there isn't, yes, 
you have the ability to engage with a mentor who has a specific specialism, be it lean manufacturing, international trade or supply chain management or project management, whatever that specialism might be. But then you also have a leader who has had years and decades of experience in which to either engage your worries with regards to your leadership style or look at how you approach your staff or, or encourage, motivate and grow productivity within your organization. There is so much that a mentor can bring onto the table and it's literally unlimited, but it's, lit it's having this person with experience who you can trust and put your worries on board, who won't in effect affect your business or your day to day or, or you know, sort of engage in the, in the operation for their sort of benefit because they have that relationship with you. Because you have this detachment, you can ask the questions that you need to get answered, as opposed to asking the questions in a very diplomatic way and sort of, I guess, work around the problem as opposed to tackle it head on. Yeah, no, I think um, when you're, that's great, because I, th I think when you're, uh, when you're the leader, if you're the business leader, everybody looks to you for the answers. So, so who do you, who, like, you don't necessarily want to talk to your, the, the people that, that you work with, or, or even maybe sometimes you don't want to talk to people on, on your board either. Um, yeah. Yeah. But having yeah. that external advisor, that, that trusted um, advisor, that they can talk really openly and candidly, yeah. Yeah. Like, who doesn't have a, they don't really have a vested interest in whether your business is successful or not. They, they're doing it because they want to give back and they want to support. And um, sometimes just having someone to to say, actually, you're on the right track, just like keep doing yeah. what you want and just do a bit more of it is 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 really what a lot of people need. So Definitely. I think I think you've, you've hit the nail on the head with regards to that. Leadership is such a challenging place to be. Um, yeah, I... I I know it's a phrase you've probably heard, everybody's heard a million times, the whole leadership alone at top type phrase. Yeah, only at the top, um, yeah. But the, the interesting thing is, is, is whenever you sort of reach that leadership stage, you always have your self-doubt whether you're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. And on occasion, I've had an amazing mentor on board who is a killer in sales. And, there's, and honestly speaking, whenever, whenever I, when I speak to him, I'm, I'm just surprised at how knowledgeable he is. Mm -hmm. But wow, he's had a normal journey and had a lot of frustrations and had all these sort of challenges that 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 have you know sort of have been part of his journey, you know. But what's funny about it is I can't you when you look at the man and you look at the job title and you look at the years of service, you don't realize what the steps it took to get there and the worries and the stress and every, and it's it, there's something really comforting to know that that person has achieved so much, has had such a similar experience to what you might be having right now. Yeah. And to be honest, with regards to lockdown and what's happened, I can imagine the frustration and the stresses of a lot of business leaders kind of thinking what to do right now. Or to be honest, I think a lot of business leaders and, and you know, from, from a lot of the mentees I've spoken to know what to do, but having that other person there to, to say that, look, we had a circumstance. It's not the same, and it, I know it's clearly not the same because not, no business has been what we're, we're going through now. But then on the other side of things, to know that a leader has gone through major challenges in their lifetime with regards mm -hmm. to managing everything from personal, professional, to the world changing, and has come through now where they are, I think there's a lot of comfort in that. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the idea of, of having this this experience to say yes there is light at the end of this tunnel and i can just chip away at it day to day day to day and i yeah. think just having that feeling in yourself and and having somebody else bolster that in you and just a little bit of motivation for yourself from talking to bit to somebody else and get engaging with somebody else is, is unreal a really yeah. great opportunity yeah the other thing i like as well is uh, not, not only having um mentors who are maybe a bit further on than they, well they are all a bit further on because they're, they're, they're typically from from much larger organizations but um if they're coming from outside the region as well because then if again if, if you're like a leader or a pioneer in your chosen field in your local area and you're only ever talking to people in your local area yeah um, having someone who's more national or international perspective can, yeah. can really open your eyes to to a whole new way of doing things so i think that's exciting about yeah. 
I, th I think um, that's, that's a really good point. Thank you, Paul. I mean, we're very fortunate to have a number of international organizations as part of our, our mentoring journey. And it's fascinating where these mentors have come from and their backgrounds as a whole as well, because they've got some amazingly diverse backgrounds. And they've tackled so many things and have such a different view of how organizations should work. Because I think within a corporate environment, they, they have the accessibility to a lot of the structures they need to move forward. Whereby in a smaller business, you don't have the accessibility to these disparate little, I guess, you know, departments or assistants or whatever that, that the, the, the area is. Mm -hmm. Now, what's interesting in that is because they understand that those structures exist to solve a problem, they can under, they can relate where in your smaller business, what structures you need to put in place to fix those problems. Yeah. It, it's a very funny thing because I, I think there's a lot of businesses, um, just a little bit of history about myself. I've actually owned businesses and failed a business myself. Um, and I, I truly, one of the reasons that I, I went into education again is because I felt that I was missing things with regards to my business or missing sort of, I think, structural things to build into my business mm -hmm. that would be able to make it much more robust. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting having a, a mentor from a corporate environment or a corporate leader because they understand what structures are already in place making a business very robust. And for them, it's it's funny because it's very much so their bread and butter every day. Yeah, I can rely on these tools. It's a pencil sitting on my desk type of a situation. But with regards to a smaller business, it's likely you won't have that tool available with you. Mm -hmm. Maybe that tool is very easily accessible and easy to build in, but because you didn't know it was required and would, would simplify this whole range of issues that you might be having, just having knowledge to get that tool and how to put it in place might be exactly what your business needs. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can see that there's a book on my bookshelf where a lot of people have heard of The Lean Startup by Eric Ries, but he's got another yeah. book called, he's got another book out called The Startup Way. And it talks about how um, a lot of well, startups, um, small businesses, they're very good at innovation. They're very good at creating new products and services, but they're not, yeah. so, good at, they're not so good at accelerating the growth of those products or services. Yeah. Whereas corporate enterprise level, they're really good at um, accelerating the growth. It's so they're, very, yeah. they're kind of what the, the larger companies, they hit on a formula of success. And then it's just like rinse and repeat, just like maximize the benefit and just do that better and better. Yeah. But, um, but conversely, sometimes the large companies forget how to innovate and how to uh, come up with new uh, creative products and services. But the yeah. way that book is, is how that, that middle way. And um, yeah. so yeah, how to go from innovation and just doing it to actually really, yeah. growth. So yeah. I had, a, I had a fantastic conversation along the lines of um, internet, uh, sorry, um, you know, intellectual property, IP, basically, with one of our mentors who's a specialist in IP with regards to BAE systems. Yeah. And what blew me away is in, in a larger organizations, they've been able to tackle ideas in a much more dynamic way because they have a greater understanding and a person being able to tackle what the whole concept of protecting your intellectual property is and how to execute it and whether to assess whether that's viable as as something that you can lead in and on and tackle your business from a cost perspective or from an operational spec perspective and really take the time and analysis to do that but when it got to a small company the fear of of spending money in order to identify whether your intellectual property has any wealth kind of really stops you from tackling it you know so having this this he's a fantastic mentor and i'm glad he's on board but i'm dying for the right company to come over and 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 make then take use of him he's he's available he's great um and i i've literally take whenever i have a small conversation with him it ends up at least being an hour just because he's just so amazing he's got so much experience on his belt mm -hmm. You know, yeah, so that that yeah, that innovation and execution that that's the key yeah. thing. If you can get the two sides together, that that's really so. Um, so do you want to talk about the actual process of the programs? I mean, I know there's some people watching this and commenting on it. So if if they like the sound of it, what should they do? How do they get in touch with you? What's the process for? To, to be fair, um, I think the easiest process is to just get in touch with me. Um, Paul, you mentioned you'd be happy to. 
put across my details. Um, and I'll, we'll put a link to the program as well. Um, once you get in touch with me, I'll send you a registration link. It honestly only takes about 20 minutes to register for the program. Um, we'll, we'll need to sort of assess your suitability. To be fair, I don't necessarily see, see it as being much of a problem if, as long as you're uh, within that I have staff element of things. Um, I would say organizations from about 250,000 annual turnover tend to, to come into the program. Mm -hmm. um, from that, it's very simple. I organize a time to speak to you once your registration is in, understand what your requirements for a, are, a mentor are, have a lot of sort of back and forth. Um, from that, I take your profile and I discuss it with potential mentors we have on board. We're very fortunate that we have a matching program in place called iMentor. So iMentor automatically takes your details from the registration and throws up a number of mentors for me to kind of go, these would be good matches for you, mm -hmm. who I'll then call, have discussions with, and, and, and match you across. Now, the mentor does have to agree to work with your organization as much as you need to work with them because the mentors do donate their time in. And for them, it's really about engaging somebody who will take this forward. And that's really a key thing. So getting a match who is dedicated and willing to, to do the work, you know, um, with regards to the program and engage the mentor is really sort of important to me. You know, this is why I, I don't like using the word free, you know. Mm -hmm. So there's equity involved. There's sweat equity involved more than financial equity, but it's there, you know. But the reality is you'll get so much more if you engage in that. So anyway, mm -hmm. once you've registered and we've done our interview and I've matched you with the mentor, you will then have an opportunity to engage with that mentor for a year. Mm -hmm. um, now, each mentor has different times available to be able to sort of dedicate towards a mentee. It really depends on their schedule. But mm -hmm. as a minimum, we're looking at two or three hours a month. Um, I've had a mentor who dedicates about 10 hours a month to his, to his three mentor mentees. Okay. You know? So it, it really depends on the mentor you have on board. Um, and at the same time, the, the reality is it's, it's about your building your relationship at that time frame. We do have an expectation where we would like you to log in your meetings so mm -hmm. the, because that's an assessment point. We are government funded, so we need to put forward some information with regards to the success of our program. Yeah. So we'd like you to log in and rate your, your meetings whenever you've put them in. Um, and at the same time, periodically, we'll send you a questionnaire or, or sit down and have a discussion with you. And just, you know, to sort of dipstick and see where your organization is yeah. and how the, how the process is going. Awesome. And then, um, so the mentees, they don't choose the mentors, do they? That, that's more, that's your no, skill. That's, yeah. you're trying to kind of... yeah. I mean, this, the, the reality is we choose the mentors for the mentee. Okay. Um, however, it is very dictated by the mentee's requirements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, there's a number of reasons for that. On one side of the equation, I find that a lot of the skill sets of the mentors when I've discussed with them are not going to be presented on their LinkedIn platforms or with their job titles. Yeah. Um, but once you have a discussion with them, they, they will pull this whole bag of tricks out for you mm -hmm. that you didn't know. Um, and, and that could be a fantastic match for, for, the, for, the, for the mentee. Um, on the other side of things, I, I can't say it, it's, it's all about the human element. So some matches won't work and that's just the reality of it, you know? Um, and that's perfectly fine within our program. So if you come on board and we match you with the mentor, and after a bit of a couple of meets, you you realize that this is this is not getting you where you want to go as a business or what your objectives are. We're happy to rematch you, you know. And the men the mentors are fantastic with regards to you know understanding that things aren't necessarily going to work with me in specific mm -hmm. um and they might pull out as well and kind of go i don't think i'm the right mentor for you mm -hmm. um and we're happy to put you back in and rematch you with the mentor that could work so what, what what's i think it's lovely because it gives you an opportunity if it doesn't work and you know that's not going to happen then you can pivot and and find the mentor that you can do and because at the moment in time i think to date we've got about 642 matches across the uk wow. um i still think we have over 300 mentors available to us and more coming in regularly as we're building relationships with more organizations you know so 
I think that the opportunity for you to find the right mentor is definitely there. And I personally, what's great, and I'm, I'm definitely going to sell myself and all the other mentoring advisors here, you have this person in between you and the mentor to discuss and figure out exactly who you're looking for. You know, and from a mentoring advisor perspective, we we discuss challenges businesses have across the board with other advisors in the UK. So I have got seven other advisors that I can speak to about a challenge you might have to find a mentor across the UK. And between myself and the other advisors, one of us would have definitely engaged somebody that can tackle most business problems. Yeah. You know, yeah. and what's fantastic is if I don't have the mentor now, we will still keep you engaged. And as a as a mentoring advisor, I, we proactively look for mentors as well. And we proactively engage organizations that can fix these gaps in which our mentee organizations are looking for. So there's always that opportunity to find the right person to fit your requirements. Mm -hmm. Sounds like such a good program. Um, and I, I, mean, I was looking at your website again before the, the there's so many great resources on there as well for Thank you. Yeah. to check out, um, even if they're not quite right for the for the program. Yeah, but um, just just last question on the on the actual program. How long does it typically last for? Or is it, or is that down to the mentor? It's, and, and it's, the mentor? it's a year. I'd say a year. Yeah. But just talking about one of the relationships I have, which is very interesting, a relationship between a mentee from Newcastle Building Society mm -hmm. and a mentor from GSK. Mm -hmm. um, and it's still going on, and it was in our first cohort, which started in 2019. Okay, wow, cool. 2019, sorry, 2018, my, my mistake, 2018. So the, there, there's a chance that you would meet a trusted friend and advisor that you would want to hold on to for the remainder of your professional career, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, we, it, and to be fair, it'd be fantastic if that relationship occurs. But with regards to our management of that relationship, it's just a year. Okay, cool. So the, the website, um, it's be the business.com. Yes, right? yeah. yes. So they can check that out. The program called Mentoring for Growth. Yeah, Mentoring for Growth. But if people want to um, contact you directly, we'll put your link. Uh, if some people want to, they can through LinkedIn Live, so they can contact you th through that. Uh, sure. As well. But do you want to do you want to put your email address in here, or should we just wait and see? I I, I I'm happy to, to put my email address and attach it to 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 here, so I don't mind people emailing me at all. Um, at the same time, um, you know, please LinkedIn connect me as well. You know, I'm happy to engage with 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 businesses on LinkedIn. Um, we do have a campaign running through LinkedIn, um, and and hopefully. As in, in the next couple of weeks, we'll have a number of posts with regards to our mentors. Um, I'm hoping a lot of case studies will come on board as well, so you'll get to read those. I will share them on my profile across, um, but it's always great to follow Be The Business and see all of what the activities we're doing to help businesses around the UK. Yeah, awesome. And if anyone's watching this, if, even if they're not right for the program, if they want to share it, that, that'd be really cool. To Please. Do one more. People across the UK to benefit, but particularly the Northeast we want more Northeast businesses to definitely. I mean, like I I have just connected a tech business from the Northeast with a mentor based in London, and the mentor was blown away by what we're doing in the Northeast. Right. Awesome. Yeah. And I'm 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 more than happy to flag to sorry, wave the flag of what the businesses in the Northeast do and what our capacity is here. We we are an unbelievable resource with some great minds over here. So I'm more than happy to, to sell it to mentors. I really am. It would be my pleasure to do so. So yeah, get in touch. Awesome. Okay, right. Always a pleasure talking to you. Thank Alex. you. Pleasure always, Paul. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Bye. See ya.